In this tutorial, we'll show you just a little bit about pipe networks. Uh, here you can see that I have P three pipe sections. If I click on here, uh, this is under network one, and then this is network two, and then network three. So three pipe sections that are all in different networks because they've been created from an object, and so each of those are placed into a different network. Um, now one of the things we can do there is if we click on this pipe section, Escape out. We'll click on a pipe section. When you click on that pipe section, the pipe network tools is going to come up here up top, and uh, we want to look at merging networks. So if I click on merging networks, I can select the pipe network to be merged into another network. So let's just start with two, and then we'll merge that into the first network, and that should now this one, which is already, if I hover over that, that's network one. Now this one also becomes network one, and so we've merged those two there together to get the last one in there. We'll do the same thing. Uh, we'll click on that, <coughs> and then we'll merge networks, and we'll merge from three going into one. And now we should have all only one network left. So if we click on this guy, hover over it, you'll see that it's all under network one now. Now if we want to list out what the lengths of the pipes are here, the next thing we'll do is we'll go under um, and click on a pipe again within that network, click add tables and add pipe table. You can set the, the either the defaults here or choose your own. Notice you can go between networks here if you have multiple networks in here. And we will place that over here. So as I zoom in, you can see it gives me the length and slope of each of those pipes, as well as the size. And so that's an easy way to then take that data and, and add up those values. So that's just a few things for helpful on uh, pipe networks.